Well, good afternoon from Thailand, y'all. So obviously I made it out of the jungles unscathed, um, but I picked something up I'm not really proud of, a jungle beard, and this hair is getting to be a bit too much. So uh, Blake, one of the guys on the tour, told me uh, about a really cool barber here. So I'm gonna go check that out and get cleaned up, and then uh, I'm gonna go explore Chiang Mai, and I've got some fun groups I'm working with over the next few days, so I'm really excited, but I've got two days to explore this awesome awesome town i got in last night and um yeah i've got a lot of work to do obviously getting caught up with that all the jungle videos um yeah everybody gave me all of their footage so that was just it was over 600 video clips so uh it's been taking me a long time to get that video together uh because i gotta watch it all and then you know make a cut sheet and figure out what i want to use but uh enough on that next country thailand so yeah let's get out there and explore So y'all, I'm here in the Cutler in Chiang Mai and at the recreation of Blake and uh, they're gonna hopefully clean all this up and make me look like a not crazy person from the jungle. So uh, yeah, time to get cleaned up and hopefully it'll make me not be so hot walking around here too. But yeah, this is the before and the after. Thanks guys. All right, y'all, so I feel like a new man. Oh, it feels great to get that jungle scruff off my face and get a haircut. Uh, not my usual look, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna rock it out. They put some pomade in my hair. So uh, yeah, I'm looking like a rockabilly star, I feel like. Uh, but one of the guys told me I should go down to uh, this little temple right around the corner and they're doing like a big ceremony and I can film and everything. So I'm gonna go check that out now. It's uh, That haircut took about an hour, almost an hour and a half. Uh, so definitely the longest haircut I've ever had. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go check this out and then uh, yeah, see where the night takes me. I've got one more day to explore, so then I'm gonna go do all the uh, main tourist stuff tomorrow. Uh, some kind of run out of time, but uh, yeah, feeling good. was cool I just kind of walked around the facility for like five six minutes um, I don't think the festivities had really started yet it looked like they were setting up and people were just eating food and I didn't want to you know be getting up on all, all up in everybody's business with a camera so uh, yeah just kind of walked through everybody was smiling though and, and like pointing at me like wow I can't believe like a tourist is here but uh, yeah I'm just gonna kind of meander about uh, I think I may walk up uh, the main drag here and kind of see what's going on
right, y'all. So I'm at the uh, the Thaifei Gate, and I'm probably saying that wrong, let's be honest. But uh, yeah, um, there's going to be a huge market uh, on this street tomorrow night that I'm going to come check out. But uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to come and see the gate. Uh, it used to be like the outer wall of the city. Um, but yeah, so it's almost 6 o'clock. Um, there's the... Tonight's Saturday night, by the way. So there's a big Saturday night market, and the Sunday night market's here. Um, about a mile away is the the market for tonight. So uh, yeah, I was just gonna kind of go walk around. We'll put the camera up for a minute. So the next time y'all see me is gonna be in a few hours when I get to the night market and get something to eat there and show you guys the stalls. And supposedly they're like silversmiths working. It's gonna be pretty cool, I think. Uh, but yeah, I just wanna put the camera up and kind of enjoy Chiang Mai for a little bit. So we will see y'all at the night gate here in a minute. Alright y'all, so that was my first day in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty decent day. Uh, it poured like really early in the day, so I wasn't able to get out around tw until about 12.31. Uh, so yeah, I just kind of like walked around, got my bearings, um, you know, walked through that one temple, uh, but it seemed like they were kind of getting set up for later on in the night. You know, everybody was eating and everything, so I just kind of buzzed through there and then got out. Uh, saw a bunch of the temples from the street, the Watts. And I'm, I'm gonna go to a bunch tomorrow, so show you all that in the next vlog. But yeah, I was kind of bummed out. Um, so I got to that one night market. They're usually open till around midnight, according to the internet. But I think with the water festival coming up, which I'll experience in Bangkok, um, a bunch of them were closing down early. It was like, you know, 9, 9.30 when they were closing down, and it's like a little after 10 now. So I was only able to find uh, one food stall open that was still serving food, and I got this guy which I'm not sure if it's a small piece of chicken or a big piece of frog, but hold on. Okay, that's chicken. Um, so yeah, you know, kind of bummed out by that, uh, but there are like nine or 10 markets at any given time here in Chiang Mai. So I'm going to one tomorrow that's gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna put this chicken down. So, uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to go to a bunch of the temples and show all of y'all that and then go to one of the bigger night markets here and it's supposed to just be really cool, you know, tons of craft items and uh, food. So, you know, with that said, I got to edit a vlog and get some sleep. So see y'all tomorrow for day two in Chiang Mai.